Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Well, today, as you can see, I'll be doing a DIY for you, and I'm doing one of my favorites. I'm going to be making over these glass containers, one thrifted container, two Dollar Tree containers, and I will be doing a little painting. I'm going to be using this folk art metallic paint in pure gold. It's a beautiful color. I have tons of uh, bling that I'll be using, such as uh, that this rhinestone fabric trim. I'm going to be making a decorative tray for you, and I'm going to be working with this uh, Ashley face filler. Now, uh, I hope you like how everything turns out. Now, the first thing I'll do is go off camera and clean my pieces with this alcohol, and then we're going to jump right into today's video. Now, I am starting with the painting. Here you see I'm pouring the paint in a little container. I'm going to stir the paint uh, up and mix it really well, and then I'll begin to paint. Now, the brushes that I'm using are acrylic brushes or brushes that are made for acrylic, and uh, they're great, again, for this type of painting. Now, if you're new to this, you haven't painted glass or you've not watched my channel before, I'll just share with you that you want to put the paint on in very light, even layers. Do not overload the paint. Do not go too heavy with the brush. Again, that first coat, especially if you're working with a metallic paint, is going to be a little bit thin. It takes a little, uh, maybe two usually actually three coats to get the look that you want. The main thing is that the coats be even and uh, that you let the paint dry in between. So here you see I'm going to repeat the same process uh, with this other Dollar Tree jar. Now what I do off camera is once I let uh, this first layer dry, I'll wait about an hour. Uh, if I can wait longer, I will. And then go ahead and apply the second coat. And in, it, in this particular case, I can tell you that I did apply three coats to get the final look that I wanted. Now, I do go ahead and paint the bottom of my containers. Um, I do the top first, let it dry. Then I do the bottom, but you certainly don't have to do the bottom uh, to get the look that you want. And here you see, I'm just gonna uh, repeat the same process on this thrifted piece. And then once these pieces are dry, are dry, I'll set them aside and then we'll move on to the next part, or while they're drying rather, I'll set them aside and we'll move on to the next part of the DIY. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to go ahead and do the tray or start on the tray. Now, the first step is going to be cleaning the tray now or the mirrors rather that I'm using for the tray. And uh, these I'm going to clean them both sides of them with alcohol because I'll be adhering, uh, you know, some decorative rings and other things. And I do want to make sure that whatever I attach stays secure. So the first step here, I'm going to glue the, these two mirrors together. Now, these are 12 inch mirrors, by the way, and I buy these from eFavor Mart. I'll make sure uh, to try and put a link for that down in the description box. But you get four of these uh, from eFavor Mart and all four, I think they're about $3 a piece, something like that. Um, now, before I uh, start building the rest of the tray, I want to go ahead and attach one of these rings to the bottom of the tray. Now, these rings are called floral rings or macrame rings. You can buy them in a lot of places. They're really inexpensive. I think the 12 inch ring is only about $1.50. And um, first, before I glue anything on, I'm just going to get the layout right and uh, go ahead and get my uh, legs in place so that I see where I want them to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue on the 
the ring. Now I'm going to glue the ring on and the legs on with uh, the regular E6000 because I really want this to be, you know, them to be really secure. And then once that's dry, and I'll actually clamp the ring down uh, to make sure that it, you know, lays flat and it's secure. And then once it's dry, I'll flip it over and we'll start building the other part or the top part of the tray. Mm -hmm. So now that the ring is set, I'm going to go ahead and start placing the top uh, rings and I'll begin here with the center ring. There you see me just kind of cleaning the ring up a little bit and uh, doing a little bit of measuring and then I'm going to still use the same glue. I'm going to use the E6000 regular and uh, I'll put that on lightly all around the ring. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to clamp the ring into place and let it dry. And uh, I'm also going to be placing the outer ring. Now, this is probably my fourth tray that I've made uh, using this particular technique. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to make a few more because I'm, I've had a few requests uh, for these trays and uh, I'm going to be making them for my Christmas gift. In fact, this tray set is going to end up being a gift. So here you see I'm placing the center ring. Now again, the outer ring is 12 inches, of course, since the mirrors are 12 inches. The center ring is a 10 inch ring. And there you see I'm just trying to make sure, take my measurements and make sure that I've got it dead center. And uh, then I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and clean up any excess glue. So now I'm going to go ahead and place the outer ring. And uh, again, that the outer ring is a 12 inch ring, uh, exactly like the ring on the bottom. And I'm going to secure this ring with uh, the E6000, the regular E6000. And uh, once I do that, I'll go ahead and start adding the decorative filler.
So now I'm adding in the decorative filler. Now again, this is a rhinestone filler. I've used it in a couple of these trays now. Uh, this filler is made by Ashland and you can purchase it from Michaels. I believe the container is about $4.50. So here I'm just filling up the center of the tray and uh, you don't wanna overfill it because you do want to be able to lay uh, the last layer on top. But now if you're doing this and you wanna do a different filler or maybe uh, you're using a filler that's a little thicker than, than this particular rhinestone filler, what you can do is double the rings. That means double the center ring. Uh, to give the tray uh, to give the tray a little more height and then uh, also double the outer ring that way uh, you'll be able to lay or place the top uh, which is going to be a clear acrylic on top so there uh, you see me fitting the tray to make sure that uh, it will lay flat and then once I do that, I'm going to, as you can see, I'm removing the protective uh, outer coating there and just kind of cleaning it up. Um, you know, if you, if you want to do that for sure, because you're not going to be able to clean it once you secure, or at least the underside, uh, once you secure it. Now for the gluing, <clears throat> a glue, again, I'm using the E6000. Uh, the regular E6000, just little light dabs. This glue, make sure you get the clear uh, because this is gonna dry clear. You can also use uh, really any clear uh, glue that you like. I just prefer, prefer E6000. So again, once I get this uh, acrylic top piece to lay flat and secure, I'll go ahead and use uh, my clamps, my Dollar Tree clamps to securely uh, hold it on to the tray, let it sit, and then we'll come back and do the finishing touches on the tray. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding the last uh, little bit of touches here to the tray. Uh, here you see I'm just cleaning the top of the tray to make sure it's nice and clean and then I'm going to go ahead and secure the uh, gold ring to the top and again that's another 12 inch ring. Now here I have to apologize because as you can see I've already added this beautiful ribbon and this crystal and rhinestone decorative trim. I thought I filmed it for you, but my camera wasn't on, so I apologize. But again, all I did was glue that trim on and I did it with the E6000 quick hold. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue this beautiful brooch to the front of the tray. Uh, it's gonna kind of give me that you know, focal point I love to put uh, on or I like to have on most of my pieces. And also it's going to tie in to the other uh, pieces that are going to go with this set. So that's it. After I place the brooch, I'm going to move on and start decorating uh, the pieces that will complete the set. Uh, my paint is dry before I add any embellishments I'm going to use this flex seal uh, folk art flex seal rather to seal the paint and make sure that I you know that the paint stays trip uh, chip resistant and also uh, I can place this set you know in like a bathroom area or something like that and not worry about the paint uh, coming off so there I'm just brushing it on. Um, now this folk art uh, select seal, I think a bottle cost about maybe $16, $17, but I will tell you that it lasts a long time. I've gotten a lot of use out of this and uh, you can see that even though it comes with a spray bottle or spray nozzle, I don't spray it on because I have found that that can leave your piece a little bit streaky. Instead, I use two applicators, uh, sponge applicators, pour a little bit in the container and I use the two applicators to brush it on. Um, I'll use one that is damp 
you know, or wet rather with the sealant and then another one to kind of smooth over uh, the the uh, sealant and make sure that it's on, you know, and and that it's not thick, too thick in any place or any of the places rather or that I don't have any streaks or anything like that. Now this sealant dries clear. It's beautiful and it does make a big difference to your paint. When I first started doing these uh, sets, I did not seal the paint. And um, especially when I used a different brand uh, of paint that's called, that's kind of made for glass. But I have found that no matter what, you're better off to just go ahead and seal the paint. And again, this is the product that I recommend. Now, once this dries, then uh, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the embellishments. So I'll start uh, with the Dollar Tree cylinders first. And I had to kind of look it over a little bit. I wasn't quite sure at first what I was going to do. But then I decided I would use this ribbon. A very inexpensive ribbon that I picked up I think it was less than two dollars uh, and I got this ribbon from Joanne Fabrics uh, I'll leave the name down in the description box and I've gotten a lot I used this same ribbon in a previous DIY so uh, a little you know little bit of ribbon and it goes a little a low price rather and it goes a long way um, and I do think it's pretty so I'm gonna add a little bit of ribbon around uh, the neck area uh, of each of these pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and follow up with a little bit of the silver embellishment. Again, I'm calling this uh, the gold and silver rhinestone set so I want to kind of keep that theme going. Um, then I'll add uh, my brooch for that pop of embellishment and uh, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next part of the DIY. And again, I'm going to kind of do the same design for both of the Dollar Tree cylinders and then something similar, obviously, for uh, the larger thrifted piece so that, um, you know, I end up with a match set. So, all right, I'll come back, guys, when we get to the next part of the DIY.
So now I'm going to go ahead and make my lids. Now, if you're new here, this will be new for you. But again, if you follow the channel for a while, then you know that uh, I make lids for everything. I love my pieces to have a multiple, you know, have, to have multiple purposes and uses. And one way I have found to do that is for most of these little containers, I like to make lids. So uh, I use different methods. Here I'm just using three acrylic discs, uh, a three, two, three inch and one four inch disc. Um, and I'm going to trim them with this uh, rhinestone trim. Now this rhinestone trim comes from eFavor Mart. It's really affordable. You get that entire roll there. I think it's like $5 for the roll. So. Again, I'm an eFavor Mart affiliate, so you feel free if you'd like to use the link um, in the description box to order it, or just go to the eFavor Mart site. Uh, site. But uh, I found it to be good quality. It doesn't tarnish, and um, it, it just works really well. So here I'm applying uh, this two millimeter closed chain wrap uh, around the edges of the uh, acrylic disc. And, uh, you know, just to add a little bit of extra bling. Also, um, I find that when you rim out the, the disc this way, plus add a little trim to the top of the container, it kind of helps hold the lid in place as well. So once I do this, I'm going to go ahead and glue on uh, acrylic knobs, the same type of knobs that I used for the tray or for the bottom of the mirror tray or for the legs. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of extra bling. And uh, I believe I'm gonna use, now for the for this trim, I'm using E6000 Quick Hole, which is a glue I use all the time. And I believe for the extra bling, I'm gonna use uh, regular E6000 and also the E6000 that's made for gems. So guys, I'm gonna let you watch me finish these lids up. And then after this, it'll be time for the final reveal. That's how the mirror turned out. You know what? I think I like this mirror and I think it may be my favorite one so far. But let me know what you think. I'd love to hear about that down in the comments. Uh, now there's a close up again of the mirror with uh, the set there. There's a close up of the set with all the bling. Uh, again, I'm giving this set away as a, a gift this year and I really hope that the person I made it for likes it i know that this will go with her home and her decor and again i hope she likes the set 
But again, I thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. And is this a set that you would make for yourself or that you would make for a friend? And would you give it away as a gift or would you keep it? So uh, again, if you're not subscribed, I hope that you'll decide to do that today. And I can't wait to come back and see you next week. I do have another video uh, that I'm working on right now. So again, thanks so much for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.